moving on to the ultra heavyweight semifinal here on mat eight. We have Guillermo Guedes versus Felipe Mauricio. Felipe we have in the white D Guillermo in the blue. We have our semifinals, the ultra heavy division here on mat eight, but the other side of the semifinals hasn't been decided yet. We are actually still in the quarterfinals on the other side with Etan Bueno and Mateus Felipe da Silva. The winner of that quarterfinal match will go against Rafael Lovato Jr. in the semis to decide who will fight the winner of this match. So a little bit behind on the other side and quite a few more exciting matches to go until we get to the finals of this division. But kicking things off, we'll be, the next match here on Mat 8 will be the Roosterweight Women's Black Belt Final here. So the day is nonstop. It's a freight train action here. Finals are up next, right after this ultra heavyweight semifinal. Really great broken down closed guard control here. Nice and high closed guard. Switching off to an arm, it looks like. Could have the angle with that grip with the left hand on the shoulder as well. Really helps keep the posture broken down to create the angle on the arm bar. Nice thing about this position too is it creates opportunities for the arm bar but also for the triangle if the arm is pulled out. Potentially omoplatas are open there as well. Or even a look at the back. Beautiful transition to the back here. Like we were saying, that position is so strong, the way that it can lead to the arm, the back, the triangle, and now we'll look at attacking the neck here to get the finish. Jeremy Guedes, working hard as you said. Up six to nothing here, 5.30 left in the match. Could potentially have the finish here. Does have a strong grip on the lapel, though not underneath the chin just yet. And settles into a top position here instead. Nice underhook on the arm. Could be used to attack a Kimura. Kimura on the top side arm looking very threatening.
Looking for the Kamara finish here. Jeremy Gett is not rushing anything, looking at his coach, taking instructions. Still plenty of time left in this matchup. Kamara locked on. Things are looking great for him. Yeah, things looking great in a strategy. The strategy behind it, I mean, you know, half the match goes by with very little movement, very tightly contested positions. So at this point, even though he has a big point lead, with the respect for your opponent being very, very tough, there's absolutely no rush to go crazy finishing the match here. Yes, he has a big point lead, but it all happened very, very quickly. Has a very tough opponent, so not gonna exert all his energy in one go here. Gonna wait for the opening until that arm is free and go for the finish. about three minutes left on the clock here. We still have a very strong nine-point lead, I believe, nine points. Such a frustrating position to be in on the bottom as well because all you can really do here is hold on to your pants, hold everything together. We see a grip on the pant leg keeping his arm intact so that it's not being ripped up and over the back of his back for the finish. Oh, and we do have the arm on the other side of the body now, but not quite a tap and gets his arm free. Very tough here, back up to the feet. Beautiful recovery here, all the way from a fully locked Kimura, fully locked straight arm bar, back to the feet and back in action with 2.30 on the clock and a nine point lead here. And as an update, the winner of this match will be going against the winner of Yatan Bueno and Rafael Lovato Jr. once they finish their semifinals match on that one. And that will set the final for the ultra heavy division here at the European Championships. Felipe Mariso commits to that shot, but it's going to be too close to the boundaries to make anything happen here. His coach is imploring him to put on the gas. Not a lot of time left to make up nine points. Thus far, Gary Maguetta is playing a very sound strategy, backing up a considerable lead. Yeah, get us seeing very uncomfortable, you know, in the standing position on the bottom, on the top. And Felipe had some nice shoot on there on the edge of the mat. A little bit too late as they went out of bounds, but some very nice attacks nonetheless. So we'll see if he's able to get off any of his standing attacks here. Would be quite difficult to cover a nine point lead in less than a minute. But if he can get to some takedowns, get to some submissions, that would probably be his, uh, you know, his last ditch attempt here to try to make it to the finals, the Europeans. But Guillermo looking very strong, solid base, really unbothered. 
And rather than the judo, Felipe offers, opts to pull to the close guard. Probably will be looking for some immediate submissions here at the end of this match. That's the only option. Got to throw some option. Hail Marys here. But it seems that Felipe has accepted his fate. 15 seconds left. Jeremy get his nose. He's punched the ticket to this final in the European Championships here. And after this, don't forget, guys, we will be moving right into the women's finals right after Guillermo has punched his ticket into the finals later this evening. Next up, we will have the women's finals, the Europeans getting started with our lighter weights first. Very excited to get the ball rolling. We have some amazing matchups coming up with the world's best female black belts. The hand raise makes it official. Guillermo Guedes is moving on. Next up, our Rooster Weight final in the women's black belt division. Stay tuned.